Welcome to Design Shop. My name is Carol Lin. I'm an application engineer from Maxim Integrative. Today, I will be showing you how to bring up the Max 13054A EV Kit Shield Board. But first off, let's talk about the IC. It is a tra CAN transceiver with plus or minus 65 volt of fault protection and plus or minus 25 volt common mode input range. Some of the features include dominant timeout, short circuit current protection, and thermal shutdown. Let's talk about the jumper settings. When you open the package, the, the jumpers are set to these default state. The TVS diodes are connected to CAN-H and CAN-L. The low jumper, JU-CAN-H and JU-CAN-L, are set to 60 ohm. You can also short pin 2 to pin 1 for a split V termination with two 60 ohm resistors and a cap to ground. Next, we have the VDD supply pin. It's connected to our external pin that's shorted to the VDD external test point. Also, we have our logic supply. It's also set up for external supply. Here is our VL external test point. And um, JU3 is actually a jumper that allows you to remove for current consumption measurements. For our purposes, we're going to leave it as is. JU15 has a 15 puff capacitor to ground on RxD. And then we have our JU9, which are, is only used for standby pin uh, connection to uh, interface at Arduino or embed board. Our JU8 has three columns, TXD over here, the digital pins next uh, associated with these connectors, and then the RXD pins here on the bottom column. The standby pin on JU12 can select both the ground or the um, 26.1 kilo ohm to ground or to interface with a embed board or Arduino. Next, we will show you how to hook it up and verify that the board is operational. This looks complicated, but it's actually a very simple setup. I have a 5 volt supply on VL, VDD, and IO ref, four scope probes, one on TXD, RXD, CANH, and CANL. I also have a function generator connected to TXD on JU8. My function generator is set up with a square wave from 0 to 5 volts at 500 kilohertz. My supply is at 5 volts. And on the scope, we have channel 1 on TXD, channel 2 on RXD, channel 3 on CANL, and channel 4 on CANH. I also have conveniently a math channel that takes the difference of CANH and CANL. As you can see, we can verify that the TXD is at 500 kilohertz, and RXD is following TXD with a bit of a delay. And lastly, the difference voltage at the recessive and the dominant state. The dominant state is when the voltage between CANH and CANL is um, between 1.5 volts and 3 volts. The recessive state is when the difference voltage is practically 0 volts. I have a cursor measuring the difference voltage off of the math channel. It's at 2.5 volts which is well within the 1.5 to 3 volt requirement for CAN ISO standards. As you can see, we just finished bringing up the MAX 13054A Shield EV Kit, and it was very simple. For more information or to order an EV kit, please go to maximintegrated.com. Thanks for watching.